Hello, today's video tutorial will be about installing CentOS 6 on uh, VMware Fusion. So uh, what CentOS is, is basically a free version of Red Hat Enterprise. And uh, as you can see from uh, Red Hat's, uh, Red Hat's uh, website, it is uh, definitely a paid subscription service and uh, very expensive. But uh, because Red Hat is based off of Linux and Linux is open source, when they actually um, make a version of Red Hat Enterprise, they have to release their source code. And what CentOS does is it takes that source code, strip out everything that's proprietary to Red Hat, and then rebuild it as CentOS, which is a free version that we can download and use. But it's based off of the uh, Enterprise Edition of Red Hat, which is a very, very powerful Linux operating system. So to uh, start with the uh, installation process, we're going to go ahead and go to uh, CentOS's website. And we're going to be downloading the 64-bit version of the, of the operating system. Now, if you've never downloaded the uh, operating system, um, what I would recommend you do is from the, the list of mirrors, you just go ahead and pick out an EDU website that you might have heard from before, just select a random one. And what you're looking for is the 64-bit DVD ISO, which will be about 1.4.1 1 1 gigabytes. It's a fairly large download. I've already downloaded it, so I'm just going to go ahead and uh, start with the installation process. As I've mentioned uh, earlier, we're going to be using VMware Fusion to create an instance of uh, the CentOS server. So I'm going to go ahead and click New. Continue without disk. I'm going to select my image that I've downloaded. Select open. Continue. And it will automatically recognize that it's Linux and it's CentOS 64 bit. Continue. You want to go ahead and give it a password. This will be your root password for your uh, Linux install. And then I will go ahead and uncheck this and continue on. Uh, VMware tools downloads. Uh, I will be strictly using this as a uh, database server, so I'm not going to need that, so I'm just going to continue on without it. Go ahead and customize. Um, so I can just name something that's more specific to what I'm going to use it for. And then this will show up on your screen and uh, what I would recommend you do if you have enough memory on your box is go ahead and bump this up to four gigabytes and the reason why I do that is because right now in the current version of uh, CentOS 6 there is a there is a uh, small bug right here that it tells you about in which if you don't have at least four gigabytes of RAM it will give you an error and uh, from what they say it's more of a cosmetic error it actually won't cause any problems but just for the sake of having a clean and good install I'm just gonna go ahead and give my server four gigabytes of RAM give it for my purposes I'll give it two processor cores go ahead and close it out and then you can start up just the instance. After it gets to a certain point of the install, I'm probably just going to pause the video and uh, let it uh, finish up before uh, continuing on. You don't need to actually hit any of these buttons down here. Uh, just let VMware take care of it. Alrighty, so as you can see, we have 855 packages to go. 
So at this point, I'm going to go ahead and uh, pause the video and let it get to uh, 855 before picking back up. And we are back. It's been about five minutes. As you can see, we are done with our five, uh, 855 packages. And uh, VMware is booting up the server right now. This warning right here is perfectly normal, so you can just go ahead and ignore it. And then as you can see, uh, we are booted up into our CentOS uh, front end. So we will go ahead and type our password in and log in. So the last thing we're gonna do before uh, shutting down our uh, CentOS server is uh, we're gonna go ahead and uh, install a uh, third, third party repository. And basically what repositories are is an easy way for us to uh, install software onto uh, our Linux operating system. So Firefox is built right in. We're going to go ahead and start that up. Go ahead and go to google.com and go ahead and search for CentOS 6 repositories. And then you can just select the first link. And now we're, basically we're going back to uh, the wiki uh, of the uh, CentOS website. And we're going to be selecting RPM Forge CentOS 6 and we downloaded the 64-bit version so we'll go ahead and select that go ahead and hit OK and uh, let it uh, run by itself This may take a minute. Go ahead and hit install. And then it will ask for your root password, which is what you set up. And that is it. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, shut down the server. And uh, in future tutorials, uh, I will basically be uh, installing uh, things like Oracle Express, which is uh, the free version of uh, Oracle database onto uh, CentOS. And uh, most likely, I'll also uh, install CouchDB, which is a uh, JavaScript uh, document database. Uh, so I'll see you in future tutorials. Thank you.